welcome to another edition of Room for Improvement. Today, improving the look of your conservatory with some plants. How to create a dream room for a nine-year-old. Russell goes on another DIY rescue mission. But first, a unique bed sit. Any of the bed sits I've stayed in have been dull and dismal places. But we're about to meet a lady who has a reputation for transforming bedsits into something more than just a little different. Come and have a look. Denise. Hello. Come in, come in. Oh, this is fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. This is honestly amazing. You must be a wild woman in pink. Well, I like pink because it's the colour of love. Or, uh, no, I like pink full stop, but uh, I used to wear black a lot and then I changed to red and, and now I'm settled into pink for the rest of my days. So where I did you start here? This used to be very dark red and uh, I wanted to do, I wanted to lighten it up a bit. So I started it because I sponge everything now. I wouldn't dream of, well, I, sometimes I use a brush. A lot of it is mistakes. It's all out of jumble sales. Uh, now these tablecloths, for example, I dyed. This top one was the most awful grey, and I'm not a grey person. <laughs> Where would you find all these things? Mostly jumble sales. That butterfly now, for example, I got yesterday for a pound. Uh, that, was, that was a pound shop, that wasn't a jumble sale. And people are very nice, you know, and they, they throw out a lot of kind of lovely stuff, which you might not think is particularly good, but when you paint it, gilt, I gild everything, you see. I put a bit of gold on, like this butterfly. It was black, and I covered all the black with gold. And, and the door, now, the door is an accident, because behind that flower there, that middle flower, yeah. the real flower, well, the silk flower, there's an old, the remains of an old doorbell, which uh, doesn't work anymore. It's obsolete, and I can't get it out because I'm not much good with a screwdriver. <laughs> so I put this rose on it, right? And then I thought, ah, I can paint these flowers, you know, so I just painted the flowers. I love mirrors as well. I use mirrors. I always have mirrors, and it's got nothing to do with vanity or looking at myself. In Create fact, space. This, the, the lighting is such that you can't see you. you have, I can't see myself in any of the mirrors properly. But um, they, you know, they, they create space and because the flat is very tiny. Marianne, how did you get this look? Well, there's, there's been a false ceiling there for years, you know, one of those hardboard things with little holes in it. In fact, the little holes have been very useful because these tassels I've put up with paper clips. Now, it's very I couldn't get thumbtacks or nails through it. I'm, I'm so I'm technical. But I, then I thought, paper clips, you know, so I put the paper clips through the holes and then hung the tassels. So this is um, muslin, which I tie-dyed and uh, hand-stitched, because I don't have a machine, <laughs> and hung up. And then I got the tassels in a charity shop. They were in a basket outside, everything 50 pence. And there they are, beautiful, and I love them, and they're just right. I didn't know what to, what to do with it, you know. Well, they look lovely. Well, after seeing this one, I can't wait to see the rest of it. All right. Oh, I have another ceiling in here. <laughs> it's an accident as well. Whoa, look at this. It's like a boudoir. Yes, and, and caravan and all these things that has been called... When do, oh gosh, the ceiling, is it a cloud? Yeah, that's, that's accidental again, most things are accidental, but the room was white at one point. Between being red it, it, and these colours, it was white. And, and I started to paint the place when I came back to live here from Australia, and I thought, uh, I can't live with white, no way. So I stood up on a chair with this paint which somebody gave me and was the wrong colour, and started to kind of brush it, you know and realised it was all filthy and rotten and anyway and I should wash it and I should and, and so I did a bit you know as far as I could reach with a chair and then I lay down and I looked I thought oh god it's a cloud you know so I got really carried away and excited then I thought right let's make it into a proper cloud which I did it was very difficult actually doing all this freehand you know to keep you know with no support and then I uh, then I stuck up the stars with spit <laughs> <laughs> now and again we get catch a falling star, you know, <laughs> and uh, so that's that ceiling, and uh, I like it. I think I like it. it. I like lying in bed watching it. Yeah. But then you've you've obviously so made the 
and the fireplace. fireplace the fireplace I did years and years and years ago it was a, a, the most hideous kind of either pre-war or post-war I can never remember kind of beige you know fawn colored tiles and it is a real fireplace and um, I covered it with polyfiller. Then the pieces of broken mirror, gilted all that, and that's just watercolours actually, all that sprinkling around. And, and then if you put a brush, having done the little bits of mirror that with the gold, then if you just brush over the top of it, all the edges, the sharp edges take the, the gilt. The gilt. Do you find you have to be very tidy when you're living in a room this? Yes, and, and I am a very, in fact, I'm an extremely tidy person. It's interesting to see the way you use the wall to hang things. Um, you've yeah. got hats hanging on the wall, yeah. necklaces. <laughs> well, they, I've got, you see, in a limited space, you don't, you don't have much uh, room to put anything. So I hang the hats on the wall because, uh, no, number one, because I like them anyway, and I like looking at them. And uh, number two, it's a way of, of storing them, you know, and the, the same with jewellery. And do you ever throw anything away? I do, but then I, I usually see it in jumble sales and buy it back again. <laughs> Marianne, when you walk into a room like yours, it's guaranteed to put a smile on your face. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs>